What are you learning about? I'm learning about Pledge of Allowance. <laughs> Hey guys, so grandma came over. Look at that sun that I got from the mask. I was trying to do this so I wouldn't get it when we were watching that jousting thing. Oh, I think my aquarium stuff just arrived. Okay. Hadar just yelled, Oh, I'm so stupid. And then he said, Never mind, I'm not stupid. <laughs> he said, Is your big bag here? I think he thought he left the keys in the car, in the house. No, Did you no, think you left the keys in the house? No, I left them on the outside. They were good. Oh, okay. You're anyway, he's in a rush. Me out. He's in a I'm, I'm sitting here in the vehicle. Actually, I'm looking at my nose. Let me do one more thing. Nice nose, mommy. Less than a minute. He's worse than me. Oh, he's gonna check the Earl. <laughs> In this type of vehicle, if we go on a trip, you're gonna have to check the Earl. All right, so he's doing that. Um, we're gonna be late if he wants to do all this pre-maintenance. He should have done it yesterday. Oh, I got coffee. That's my pre-maintenance. <laughs> coffee on the way. I have to go and uh, look at my iron again. I, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, you know, you have to adjust to a new normal, right? So I'm feeling not normal, but pretty good. Better than I was doing. So I'm doing pretty good. What you doing, Abigail? Answering questions is a super play pad, but I don't have any <laughs> marker. Oh, there's a, the marker's in there, in that red bag. I made him a trip bag for the car. Oh, yeah. Anyway. It's pretty hot today. Still, what is this? I gotta go check my iron, see if it's good. And I have to drive pretty far away to get that done because I I went to a good doctor so I wouldn't have to keep going. And they do everything there. Like they do all the checks, they do the infusions, you know, for the iron. So I went to like one facility that does it all. I was going here and then they treated me really badly. They put the needle in my arm wrong. And uh, the girls were like laughing in the back room for like 15 minutes. This needle's just pumping iron into my body instead of my vein. And I told them it hurts really bad and um, it's, it's not in my vein right. And they went back in the back and laughed at me. So I left that facility because <laughs> I, that's, that's not the kind of care that anyone should be giving you when they work at a, a cancer center. It's basically a cancer and blood center is where you have to go when you get iron infusions. So that wasn't compassionate care that I saw. I, I don't have cancer, but um, you should treat all your patients with compassion and care. So I go to a place now where they're like, they don't make too much of a fuss, you know? They do their job and they're kind and they're trying to, they're really trying to help me, so. I, I am feeling pretty good. I haven't had an infu infusion for probably like three months now. And I had a total of six or seven in a year, which I think is kind of a lot. But I, I think I'm doing okay now. So we're gonna get that checked. And uh, yeah, kids are along for the ride. Are we finally settled and ready to go now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. We're still not late. I hope not. No, we're ahead. I'm a bit sweaty, but they won't care. They're just gonna take my blood and stuff, so. All right, see you in a little bit. Good morning. We're in town. Raphael has a session around here with mommy. Today we are going to go shopping. Um, we have been shopping for like a week, a week and a half, two weeks at most at a time. And I think we're gonna take advantage of uh, having space and just get a whole month's worth, but we'll see what happens. So we're still going to get all the essentials for the week or two, but buy some bulk to store like we had before when uh, COVID started. You know, we had a good amount of stored goods, stored food, and we were able to roll with that without having to go out, <coughs> bless you, for a very long time. So we'll see exactly what happens here in the store in a few minutes. Cranes. We just paid for our like our road maintenance and stuff. 
just stopped and talked to the woman and she's like, yeah, the neighbor, you know, this good neighbor down here that is always helping us with the roads and stuff, he built her a swing. And look at what she's going to look at. So we have a, we have a nice neighborhood full of these cranes, beautiful cranes. Beautiful. This is a family. They've always been here. They used to come through our yard before we put a fence up, but they're always in the front yard here. It's nice. They're eating. Yeah. We even went to that place where they uh, joust. Oh, the joust. Wasn't that cool? Yeah. Were you there? Yeah, a little dangerous. I was. I was. We had a good time watching it. Yeah. Lots of stuff. And then we had some good food. It was very neat. We didn't get any food there. But we did get some pizza. Yeah. We got some pizza from Caesars. <gasps> oh, from Little Caesars? Yeah. We didn't get any Better pizza. pizza is tasty. We didn't get anything at the fair because it costed too it was much. It's quite expensive. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We got a drink and we got some donuts and that was it. My kids had to wait till they got home to eat. We ate in the car. So. We at oh, least. Oh, that worked. We ate three slices. All right. It was delicious. It was delicious. I'm so glad. Well, it sounds like it ended on a great note for the day, huh? Yeah. That's awesome. Well, are you ready to answer some science questions? Yeah. All right. Can you tell me, do plants have parents? Yes. And... What do you call baby plants? I don't really think the lesson told me that. Um, think about what does it start as? It starts as just a little sapling or a sprout. Uh-huh. Right, but what do you put in the ground first? A seed? Yeah. So, a baby plant starts as a seed, and then, like you said, um, a sapling or a sprout. That's like when it's a toddler. Okay. Can you think of two ways that you are similar to your parents? Okay. I'm similar to my brother because we both have olive skin. All right. Think about the, your parents. How are you similar to them? I'm similar to mommy because we both have olive skin. Okay. And what's one other thing? Are you getting nervous? Yeah, I'll turn this off. Goodbye. Okay, Grandma was here. She just said bye to the kids. And now she is leaving. I didn't get to film it. But we had a, <laughs> a long talk. Hey. Hi. What are you up to? History. History. Social studies history? Yeah. What are you learning about? I'm learning about Pledge of Allowance. Allegiance? Allegiance. Very good first grader stuff right there. All right, I'll check in with you soon. We have to do uh, an assessment. She has three assessments left for the entire school year, and that is it. So three tests, and she's done everything else. I'm nearly half to, um, nearly halfway done with my first one. Very good. Is in history. If you aren't subscribed yet, please subscribe and like, comment and share, fully living. Get it together, I didn't think it was going to be this hard. And I, I go out and I say, oh my god, put your shoes and stuff yeah. in. Oh, the wait, little you porch. got a measure.
a constitution solution. Here we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> gotta put a pan in there. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, God, they got two of them.